Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasi Prasad and I am a technical architect in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Today in this session, we will be discussing the basics of Automation Studio and we will show you some of the use cases that you should consider as a best practice. And before diving into the session, I would like to I would like to give a big shout out to Novo for his beautiful, excellent, genius marketing cloud tips that he share with the community. Now let's start the session. This is my SFFC instance and today I'm going to show you how you need to configure your automation and some of the things that you can take it as a consideration. So let's create a new automation and let's give a name as Beginner's Guide. In this automation studio, we have three different starting sources and we have many activities. If you are interested about any activities that you want to learn or about any automation starting sources, you can reply to my video. Today, we will start with the schedule automation and we will see the nitty gritties while configuring this scheduled automation. So we click on configure and here we provide the start date. Let's say start from 1st of April and then we select the time from when we want to start this automation. So we provide 9 a.m. If you want to be specific to the minutes, you can type minutes like 15 or 05. You can provide your time zone. And the most interesting and the fundamental thing is the repeat configuration. So, when you click on the drop down, you have hourly, daily, weekdays, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So, let's take the bottom up approach and say yearly. So, I want to run this automation yearly on every New Year day or on the first. Monday of January or you can say the second Monday of January or likewise you can select any week or any day. So these are the interesting combinations that you have when you want to configure your automation. We'll come to this end for now we'll select never. Say we don't want to do it yearly we want to do it monthly. So the similar pattern you can follow on the first day of Monday and never. Then we have weekly. When you select weekly, you can select which all day you want to schedule automation. Say like Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And you click done. So, this automation will be scheduled only for Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Or, if you want to schedule this automation on weekdays, you select weekdays and say neighbor. Then this will be scheduled for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, it will repeat daily on this particular day. Moving on. 
we have Delhi and we say Nevo so it will run Delhi including Sunday and Saturdays now let's go to our day and select neighbor so normally we do this particular configuration to schedule the automation our day. and when we say turn this particular automation runs every hour but if you want to repeat this automation say every four hours then you then you select four every four hours and say never then this particular automation runs every four hours say suppose you have scheduled an automation that will repeat every hour and you have four different steps with eight different activities and you know that every query has a timeout for 30 minutes and in the worst case if let's say every query runs for 29 minutes right then it will never reach the step three it will always be stopped at step three and the next automation occurrence will start running if you want to complete all the automation activities then you need to edit your automation and you need to provide every occurrence to be repeated after two hours so this automation will run every two hours and all your query activities would be executed now let's take the another scenario let's go back to our basics and say repeat every hour so this automation will repeat every hour and let's say this automation basically triggers our journey right so our journey is scheduled on this automation trigger then let's say this automation runs at midnight and it triggers the journey then is a high probability that we are going to send email at midnight to our customer which is not a good practice we aim to send emails or sms or whatsapp to our customer only in the optimized time frame so to mitigate that kind of issue i have designed one automation let me show you so here i have designed one automation called walk hour and here i have one query activity called timestamp then i have a verification activity and then a query activity which would define the journey data source and the, obviously the next step four would be the journey activity so in the first step i have written a query so basically this query would assign a value of one to my data extension attribute value if it falls within the range of 8 pm to 9 am in the morning between 10 am to 5 this automation would run and here i mean leveraging utc date so if this automation runs at 2 pm so currently it is 137 if it executes at 2 pm this automation would run fine but if it is 
6 p.m. it will stop. It is 6 p.m. and till morning 9 a.m. this will stop the automation. And from 10 again it will start completing all the automation activities. So let me go to the activity and let me show you the history. So you can see it, it started from yesterday at 1.10 and it was stopped. It tried to run at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So till 9 a.m. it stopped and now for 10, 11, 12 it had executed and completed all the activities. So with this workflow you can basically restrict your journey trigger if it is within that particular range of 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can uh, manage or modify this query based on your needs and you can take this as a best practice. If you have any queries or clarification, please feel free to reply to my video section. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye.